Linda, uh, very quickly, running out of time, what do you think, what, do you, what, what, what is your hope for this country? Yeah, first is, I mean, I think everybody, if they can, like, school in the country as a full-time occupation is it's really not really useful, you know. You can't make it your whole identity as a citizen. It's okay to do it if you want for a bit, but you need to also mobilize yourself and, and deliver right now. That's my, my really strong view. Uh, and also that uh, we have to stop hoping because hope is not a business strategy. It's not a strategy at <laughs> all, right? Uh, and hope is not passive. It's action-oriented. So, okay, fine. Everybody knows about a country of hope, our peace, attacks, all that. So now really put that into action is my view. Uh, and finally, I mean, just as an individual citizen of this country, figure out where you stand really, right? This is post-COVID. Look outside, see what's the opportunities out there, right? See where you stand. Again, the entrepreneurial men mentality, what is the opportunity first? Then where do you stand? How much cash do you have? Did you lose your job, right? With what you have, how much runway can you buy yourself? Is it six months, is it one year? And during that time, what are you going to do, right? So my ask is an entrepreneurial mindset, uh, you know, even from, you know, entrepreneurial mindset, ignite the spirit of entrepreneurship in our nation, right? And catch a few people, put them in charge. So you're like the apparel industry, we say get this billion IT industry, get some entrepreneurs also and give them some targets and ask them who, how are you going to deliver this? And how many people are you going to bring along and support? So that kind of uh, personal leadership is my view. Yeah.